Hey guys, Lone here with Houdini in my lap because she didn't understand no. Uh, well, she wasn't needed for this video and she decided, yeah, I'm still needed. So for this week's video, I decided to do a review on the Neo Pico Line 3 Sepia Set Multiliners that will be at the website down below. Um, I will include both their Japanese site and their English site even though they generally look the same um, just so that you guys can have a look um, if you guys know about the Copic shortage then you will understand why I ended up getting this um, if you go on to Amazon and you look for the four pack of Copic sepia multiliners they pretty much start charging at about 40 bucks um, Occasionally you can keep an eye out and get it at a regular price. However, they tend to sell out really quickly. And I didn't want to have to like wait and try to keep an eye on it. So I decided to go ahead and get these and try them out. Um, they are made by the Deleter Company, which if any of you guys know, is like really well known for their manga materials. They have inking supplies. Uh, screen tones, other stuff for markers and manga that I don't know of because I don't do manga, let's be honest. So this pack, unlike a Copic multiliner pack, comes with five multiliners and not four. And these multiliners are from a .03 to a .05. Um, the packaging, as you guys can see, is really nice, very nifty and one thing I do like about this packaging is that it does open quite nicely so yay um on the website <clears throat> it says that the Neo Pico line 3 is a is multi-liner pen designed for manga artists graphic designers and professional artists and art students Smooth and durable, high quality nib, waterproof, light, fast, and archival, water based pigment ink, once dried, smudge proof with alcohol based markers or watercolor, various nib sizes from extra fine to bold, and AP mark certified by ACMI for ASTM D4236 conformity. Whatever that means, because I don't know. On the English site, which is what I've got pulled up, they cost $15.30. You can also get them on Amazon, but it's more expensive. So next time I get these, I'm getting these off the website and not from Amazon. So based on first appearance of these markers, I do like the barrel of the marker. If I can get one out, that'd be great. Um, as you can see, they are very nice looking, Deleter, Neo Pico, Line 3, Acid Free, Pigment Ink, Waterproof Ink, Keep Out of Reach of Children, Keep Horizontal, Avoid Direct Sunlight and High Temperature, Replace Firmly After Each Use, just like you would with a normal pen. And if you look on the cap, it has the multi-liner size and with the side here, that little pen slider thing, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> it shows the color. These come in three different colors. They come in sepia, black, and a cool gray, so yay, if I ever felt like replacing all of my multi-liners with them, I could. One thing I don't like about these pens though, or at least the outside of the pen, is that they don't have the nib size written on the actual pen itself. So if this fades, though I doubt it, it may be a bit of a pain trying to uh, deal with. Um, one thing I will say as well is the difference between a Copic and this one. If you guys can see, they are the same size. They actually are. Let's see if I can get them even. There we go. Um, they are the same length. Uh, however, the deleter pens barrels 
seem to be bigger. So one thing I noticed is it's, it's a bit more comfortable to hold in my hand um, because as you guys know, I have this callus on my middle finger from all of my lining and drawing. And so we're gonna see if that, you know, keeps it comfortable and doesn't like tear into my hand, finger, like a Copic multi-liner will. So you guys know what's up next and that is the fade proof and the waterproof test. So let's do this. I can't write things nice and neat, so I had to rewrite this, but as you guys saw in my uni ball review, we're going to do a fade proof and then we're going to do a waterproof test. Hence why there's a thing of water here. Yay, water and a paintbrush. So I'm going to try to erase this or go at it and see if I can get any kind of fading. Um, Shaky Bagoo. Hopefully I don't knock over my camera while I'm doing this. Um, Houdini was intent on doing that earlier tonight. And to be honest, I don't know if you guys can see, but it did pick up quite, not a lot of the, uh, not a lot of the ink, but you can definitely tell that the eraser did pick it up because if you look at what's here in the shedded bits, it's brown. It's a light brown color, so. I mean, <clears throat> it didn't fade horribly, but at the same time, it's not completely fade proof. So, let's peach the hat. There we go. Now we're gonna do the waterproof test. So fade proof right now is kind of iffy. Now we're gonna do the waterproof test. And all I'm doing is putting water straight over where it says waterproof. Maybe. I don't know if we're gonna pick up something or not. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't see anything coming up and I don't see it smudging, so I will say that it is indeed waterproof. So, it's kind of fade proof and it is, as far as I can tell, waterproof. So, yay, pass the waterproof test so watercolor people be happy. So I, woo, I'm gonna move this, let it dry. So I'm going to record ink in this. I don't know if you guys can actually see this, um, but I'm going to record this and I'm gonna see how it actually does with inking. Mind you, I've already gone over the lines here and erased them once to lighten them up so that it would be easier on the eraser before I even attempt to erase. So, wish me luck. And I will give my overall opinion at the, or during the inking process of this video. So here are my thoughts on the Neo Pico sepia liners. If you are heavy handed with your sketch, I would really recommend actually taking an eraser to your sketch and lightening it up a bit before lining it like I did for this video. Or if you want to just avoid it entirely, I would recommend using a light box so that way you don't even have to worry about it. That being said, the actual pens themselves, like the pen was really comfortable to hold and usually it takes me quite a long time to line my work. It's why I never record it because my hand is always in pain from it but with these pens being slightly bigger like bigger barrel I didn't have any of those issues and it actually made inking relatively easy and quite like boom done out of the way which I can appreciate as somebody that dislikes inking just because I take forever and a day on it another thing I would have to say as well is the ink flow is really good. While at first it took me a minute to get used to because I'm used to using Copic multiliners, after I got used to it and slightly changed the way that I do my inking, it was like no problem to get this ink and I had no problem with the flow. It was just woo done and I'm like yay! So uh, overall I would say that this um, multiliner set is really good. I would recommend it for anybody even if you're heavy handed because one thing I have a problem with at times is the 0 0.03 multi-liner on other multi-liners. Uh, and um, 
Needless to say, like I was able to line the face with the 0.03 multiliner and I had no problems getting the ink to flow and it was nice and the nib held up really well which surprised me considering like Copic nibs it's like you gotta treat them like glass so I mean that is my overall opinion of the multiliner so and hopefully you guys find this helpful overall I would say go ahead and get these especially if you're a beginner and you're heavy-handed because it seems like these pens can take a heavy hand and if you've got a light hand that works too so I would recommend getting them and using them and having fun with them especially if you're starting out so yeah so there you guys go that is my review of the Neo Pico fine liners and tune in next week for when you guys will see the finished product of this. I'm going to sketch out the background and then ink it and get that up for you guys for next week. So I will see you guys in next week's video.